All right, it's your boy Pillar. Let's go back into this book one more time. Maybe two, maybe three, but I want to show you something. The Ruins of Empire by Count Vaughn. Let's go and see what it says. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go. It's kind of small. We're going to go right here where it says, you see, it says, The testimony of writers is very positive in this respect. The Thebans, which is the word for the African, says the author. Now, the, this is some written ancient. This is an, this is an ancient time. Theodorus is an ancient person, three hundred BC. So, in ancient time. They said the Africans consider themselves as the most ancient people on earth, and as as because Thebes is what in Egypt, right? Thebes is in Egypt, ancient Egypt. So, the Africans consider them the, themselves the most ancient people on earth, and assert that them that that. that with them originated philosophy and the science of the stars. Their situation, it is true, is infinitely favorable to astronomical observations and have a more accurate division of time into months and years than other nations. What Diodorus says of the Africans, the Thebans, every author and himself elsewhere repeat of the Ethiopians, also Africans, same people, right? which tends more firmly to establish the identity of this place which I have spoken. The Ethiopians conceive themselves, says he, in the book, to be of great antiquity. Antiquity means ancient history than any other nation. And it is probable that born under the sun of path, its, its warmth may have ripened them earlier the other man. They suppose themselves the, the, the adventures of divine worship, of festivals, of solemn assemblies, of sacrifice, and every other religious practice. They affirm the Egyptians are one of their colonies and that the delta, which was from, formerly sea, became by the, the conglomeration of earth into a high country, which was washed down by the Nile. Then we go over here. It says, Letters and hieroglyphs and alphabet, but among the Egyptians... The first was known only to the priests and by them transmitted to the father of the son, whereas both species were common among the Ethiopians. These are all the same people, right? The Ethiopian says Lucian, which is also an ancient person, were the first who invented the science of the stars and gave names to the planets, not at random and without meaning, but descriptive of the qualities which they conceived them to possess. And it was from them that this art passed still in an imperfect state to the Egyptians. It will be easy to multiply the citations upon, upon this subject from which all it follows, that we have the strongest reason to believe the country, country neighboring to the tropics was the cradle of sciences and of consequences that the first learned nation was a nation of blacks, for it is inconsistent Controvertible that by the term Ethiopians, the ancient meant to represent a people of black complexion, thick lips, and woolly hair. I am therefore inclined to believe that the inhabitants of Lower Egypt were originally a foreign colony imported from Syria and Arabia, a melody of different tribes. <laughs> Who are by whom were no doubt displeased. So I don't know what to do with something like right that, right? But he said, I have suggested the same idea travels into Syria from the upon the black complexion of the Sphinx. I have since asserted that the anchor, antique images of the Thebans have the same characteristics. And so it, it's a, it is singular that Africa situated so near us should be the least known country on the earth. The English at this moment are making explorations the success of which ought to cite our emulation. So this guy, Count Vaughn, a European, he uh, this is when Napoleon uh, went into Egypt and he started stealing stuff, basically, after he shot the noses off. But you will see that even in ancient times, we uh, consider ourselves the most ancient people on the earth. That was by Theodorus, like 300 B.C. And Sir with us originated philosophy. So you some people talking about Greek philosophers. We already said we created philosophy and the sciences of, of the stars. 
that's why you see a person like me like post like zodiac stuff because this is African culture. This is not no um, voodoo. My family because voodoo is a good thing. No uh, stuff that negative. It's something positive. If you understand nature. Stars are part of the nature. It's like trees and water. And then he says uh, the Ep- Ethiopians can see themselves to be of great antiquity. Antiquity means ancient history. Than any other nation, it is probable that born under the sun and w- its warmth have ripened them earlier than other men. So right there, they are already talking about how we are, our history didn't start with slavery, right? And then over here, it says, the Ethiopians were the first to invent the science of the stars, astro- astrology and astronomy, give the names to the planets, not at random and without meaning, but would but descriptive of qualities which they could see to could see them to possess, and it was from them that this art passed still in an imperfect state to the Egyptians. It would be easy to multiply citations upon this subject from all which it follows that we have the strongest re- reasons to believe that the country neighboring to the tropics was the cradle of sciences and and of consequences that the first learned nation was a nation of blacks for it, it, it is inconceivable by the term Ethiopians the ancients meant to represent a people of black complexion thick lips and woolly hair okay and so what he's saying here this guy let's go show you who this man is Count Vaughn is a European. This is what he writing. He said, hey, a nation of blacks had to be the people that taught us, right? This is the guy that said to this people, you know, that taught us how to read and write. And so when you're in school and you're not being taught this, you're being taught blacks are Negroes, blacks history start with slavery. You have no history. Oh, only, oh, only West Africa, you know, uh, slave trade you see that they know we are very ancient it's in our dna is wisdom it means he is we just got to tap just like in our dna is slavery and our in our dna is also what us remembering the testimony arise is very positive respect the Thebans consider themselves the most ancient people on earth the africans right and then it goes down ethiopians which tend to firmly establish the identity of the place the ethiopians can see themselves to be of great ancient history than any other nation. It's probable that they have riper earlier than man, earlier than other men. See, we got we we are ancient people. You know, that's why we have to be careful when people control our schools, because they can't afford to let you know this. And so uh, I just wanted to show you a little something. And you know, I say, like, like they say, um, the Ethiopian says Lucian's were the first who invented the science of the stars. And we also named, gave the names to the planets. All right? So, you know, know thyself. Shemim Hotep, it's your boy Pella. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later, all right? Peace.